Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach, and this is a number, another of our video blog series on branding. Uh, <clears throat> in the past uh, couple of weeks, I've been talking about how to adjust uh, your position within a market using a magic quadrant and a little bit about the boutique brand. And we're going to continue to focus on the boutique brand uh, today. And one of the reasons is we uh, last time I talked about advertising and how it can be more efficient as a boutique brand. And so I want to uh, go over that a little bit in some detail. Now, since you've selected to be a boutique brand and you've determined the avatar of your ideal client, do they look for people that they're gonna do business with in unique places? And let me use an example of this. Um, so if you're a contractor or a, uh, a person who sells homeware, something to deal with a house, at a very high end, that can be a very much a boutique brand, somebody who does interior design with a particular style and particular vendors, um, where they've got uh, all kinds of specific needs and specialties. You know, very different if you specialize in Amish kind of style versus uh, a California modern or any other kind of style that was out there. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can imagine, different choices of vendors out there and where they might go. And let me just kind of use some general thoughts on this in terms of, 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 of that. And oftentimes specialty vendors or boutique vendors use have unique advertising me mechanisms. So Home and Gardens, a very good, general, broad distributed, high-end consumer magazine for the home and talks about all kinds of issues around the home and the outside of the home and style and fashion and capabilities and all these things. But if you're really focused in the West, then maybe you should consider Sunset Magazine. Or if you're really here in Sonoma County, maybe you should look at Skyhawk Living. Because those magazines target those same high-end consumers with a much deeper geographic focus. And then you can imagine other people with other focuses, like imagine, a magazine that's focused particularly on New England country styles or rustic or antiques or whatever it is, whatever your specialty is, then you can focus on just those buyers. And it should be a lot less expensive than advertising in home and gardens. So that's one of the reasons I almost always start with boutique brands for people that need to move out of the bad spot of the magic quadrant. So this is Jim Sackman. And again, it's I'm with Focal Point and change your business, change your life and have a great weekend. Thanks.